everybody. Let's see if I can hold it up here so you, not having to look into my mouth when I talk, you can actually see my face. Um, uh, maybe that'll work. Anyway, it is the 27th of October, and I'm gonna try not to turn this thing off on accident. Um, and, and what? And tons, I made an update before, and it was long and crazy, and um, we had our meeting uh, this month, our first meet and greet, which I think a lot of you guys, well, there were some people on Facebook that were making fun of being at a meet and greet. Maybe you misunderstood what it was. It was about uh, finding out who the organization is, which is kind of a serious thing, because, well, as a nonprofit business, um, not only do we need to be taken seriously, but uh, the community needs to take us seriously. So anyway, moving on, it was fabulous. Had uh, uh, five ladies show up, fabulous people. Um, thank you for doing that. Yes, I'm driving to work again. So if I flip over, don't, well not the truck, the camera flips over, don't be shuckered. It's why I'm usually looking wacky and people are looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? Anyway. Um, so listen, uh, things are going forward, things are great, and I need your help. As always, we have our first uh, actual in-person fundraiser. It's going to be at the Holiday Bazaar at the Golden Paradise Landowners Building next to the elementary school in Golden Valley. It is on December 3rd. We will be outside on the side of the building. You won't be able to miss us. Um, Okay, there, there, I'm on cruise now, yay. Um, we're having a used tax sale now. I didn't post the last video because I, I realized that I told everybody to get their tack ready for sale, and I didn't want to give you the impression that it was a swap meet. That's not what it is. We're taking a used donation of, of used tack uh, that you don't use anymore, that you don't need anymore, and and we're selling that tech to raise funds. If you have something such as a saddle or a higher price, like a show bridle, things like that, higher priced items that you're, you just, for some reason, you don't wanna donate it, you'd like to get some cash out of it, um, but you'd still like to be able to donate, we will take a look at the item and decide if we wanna put it on consignment with us at the event. You need to bring it to us and you need to pick it up because I don't have anywhere to store everything. Don't forget, I'm, I'm in an RV park. So unless I get word from somebody else, that's what you would need to do. And, and that would be okay for you too, right? Because this way, you can check out all the goodies going on at the bazaar. And no two booths or tables are the same. Everything is gonna be different and separate. Crafts and um, some direct sales like Scentsy and unique makeup and, uh, and then of course, us. And uh, so you can get some more information on exactly, you know, what type of outreach we are, because we're not a rescue, we're an outreach. I'm sure the time will come when we have property and so on, you know, that we will have to take some horses, rehab them, and, and get them new homes. But that's not what we are, okay? We're an outreach program, which means that we assist the horse owner when times take a turn and it concerns the welfare and health of your horse. That's what we do that's what we're here for and speaking of that I have a young lady now understand I don't share names I keep things confidential because you know I mean if you needed help maybe maybe for you it would be embarrassing maybe you just don't want everybody knowing I mean whatever the case is um, yeah I have a young lady right now who has two horses that are in Bullhead City and she lives in Golden Valley now, she has the property to bring them up. I saw them yesterday. They need to get up here um, so that we can get a few things done. Uh, one is very, very afraid of being handled. So he needs to be seen daily. And to do that, we need to get him up here. So to get, now she has cover for them. Uh, but what we need now is the material. Now, just to get it going until she can get panels, unless you have panels you wanna donate, be more than happy to take donations of panels. They don't have to be perfect. They have to be safe, but not perfect. Um, and it doesn't have to be a corral's worth, but it does need to be more than a 10 by 10. We'll take anything you got. If you got one panel, fine. We can put those with other panels. Uh, 
But in the meantime, if you have any T post, uh, I need a dozen T post and some larger gauge wire. I'm not sure what the gauge number is on it. I haven't checked it out. Uh, if any of you can think of a good gauge, you know what the gauge is, just put it down there. So that we can string, do a three strand string and get them to her home. That's what she needs right now. And I've got the transportation. I started working with him yesterday, was able to get near him and pet him. It took a couple hours to do so, but we managed that. Um, now I need your help with material. Uh, she says she doesn't need the hands-on yet, so we're good there, but we need the material. That's first. Without material, we can't do anything. Hands-on doesn't mean anything at all. So that's what I need, okay? I need 12 T-posts or panels. Heck, and or. I, we could put them both together. What right now is just, yeah, so a dozen, at least a dozen T-posts. Uh, yeah, that would work. And... Uh, if they don't have a T-post slammer, I can probably get one of those. That's what I call it. You know, that big red thing with two handles on it that you slide over. It's like a big tube with a cap on it. I don't know what it's called, but I call it a T-post slammer because that's what it does. It slams the top of it. Makes a big ass clang. Anyway, okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, so we've got our tax sale. Whoop, 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 whoop. And, oh, mm, vendors, wakey, wakey. We are going to have, and not even my people know this yet, <laughs> we are having, uh, I talked to Tractor Supply in Bullhead City yesterday, and Jerry said, no problem, we can do that. We've got plenty of outside space, so vendors, do not call Tractor Supply, you call me. And the number is on our Facebook page, it is 928-719, going around a corner with somebody on my left, so I have to watch them, that's 719 Seven five eight nine. Yeah, seven five eight nine. That is the business number. So if you're not sure what I just said, go to the Facebook page and you will see it. You'll see it there. Uh, it'll be on the right hand side. Nine two eight seven one five seven five nine eight eight nine. I lied. Seventy five eighty nine. Ah. Okay. Um. I know I've got something else on here. What else have I got on here? New to tax sale. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, GVLO building there, but wow, killer history. Check it out. They've been there since the 60s. Um, they, they are there to keep community together. Really, really cool place. Debbie there, awesome. Judy, awesome. They have classes there. $2 classes. There's a drumming class. We can learn to play the drums. Now, I don't mean percussion drums. Oh, well, that sounded silly. All drums are percussion. Uh, they're hand drums. So you can use a bucket. You can use a drum. You can use whatever you want. But uh, Kathy, I can't remember her last name, lady who's got tons of experience is giving classes. And if you're not a member there, which is only $20 a year, uh, it's $2 a class. Big deal. Otherwise, a class is free if you're a member. Okay, moving on. Um, let's see here. What do I got? Ah, I wanted to let you know um, for those of you that aren't aware that I've been going to school for the last year for equine massage therapy, I, I do the Masterson method of massage, and a lot of it is very, it's varied levels of touch. It's not T-touch. Don't, don't confuse it with T-touch. Uh, there's a difference. It's called the Masterson method. You can look it up on YouTube. He's got videos there. It's fabulous. Um, I've been doing it for a long time now. I've worked on other horses. I was starting that business. Uh, it's called AIM. Light Touch Equine Body Works, and AIM stands for Acupressure, Massage, and Energy. I use all three together. I combine them. Um, I started the acupressure a couple of months ago, and my boy came up a little colicky the other day, one of my three boys, and he concerned me. He had no gut sounds at all. I mean, it was really hard to hear any gut sounds, and he was droopy, and he didn't want his supplements, which is a huge sign. He races for those things, so it's like, yeah, no, he turned his nose up. So I went ahead and I I did a, a little refresher on a, a, a colic session, and I did a colic session on him, and it lasted about 30 to 45 minutes, and eight hours later, he was good to go, and I walked him. Uh, I walked him around the corral a few times, and 
between me and, and Shirley uh, Whaley, the lady I board with, fabulous person. Um, she kept an eye on him throughout the afternoon as well. And that evening, eight hours later, after our meet and greet, I went back and he was great. He was awesome. Everything good. Had all of his movements and yay. So everything was good there. My point there is, yay, my boy's good. And the acupressure works. The proof is in the pudding, as my mother used to say. And she's right. It works. Um, I use a mix of acupressure and massage. Uh, and I use energy work, too. Now, for those of you that think that's a bunch of bunk, that's fine. You don't have to believe in it. All you have to do is see the results because you can't give an animal a placebo like you can us. They don't know. So all you're going to see is results. If you don't get results, you're not going to see results. So the horse will tell you. You don't have to believe it. See it. Okay? Now, that said, um, because I have been so busy with the nonprofit and caring hearts for horses and I just... I'm loving it, and I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm still going crazy. Been meeting people in person instead of just meeting you online on Facebook. Um, I am not certified as of yet because I'm still in school. However, there's plenty of things that I can teach you that you can do at home for maintenance purposes, and I can show you what I do. Now, until my certification for the acupressure in March... Uh, they're going to be in Phoenix, so hopefully everything will work out timing-wise, and I'll be able to do that, being I still work full-time. Um, oh, I hope I don't pause this or turn it off. Okay. There, maybe that'll work. Um, I'm offering my services with no fee. What's the catch? The catch is this. There isn't one. Um, the fee for the service is free. The It's a donation. And that will go towards Caring Hearts for horses. So I'm donating my time uh, for that. There will be, depending on where you're at, there will be a transportation fee. I'm not going to gouge you like $100 or anything like that. It's, I mean, there, it may be 50 bucks. It just depends um, on where you're at. I'm in Golden Valley. If I got to go out to Mojave Valley, I will probably charge you $50 for gas and time. Uh, if you're on the other side of Kingman, on the other side of 40, I may charge you $40 or $50. You know, I don't know. It just depends on where you're at. Yeah. Probably 25 bucks, 25 to 75 max, depending on where you're at. Okay. That's, so that's transportation, but at the very, very most. Uh, I would like to know if you're interested in me doing a... I don't like calling it a clinic. I'm not a trainer. Um, it's not a, a seminar, I guess, would be better. Uh, and depending on where we do it, if one of you would like to bring your horse, and I will use your horse for uh, as a demo, so that, you know, a horse I've never worked on before, so that you can see for your own eyes what is and isn't, I would love to do that. Uh, all the money, there will be a donation. And I don't know how much it would be. Nothing major, again. I want you guys to be able to be there. If you can't afford to be there, then what's the point? But let me know your feedback on that, because I'd like to do that, and then that money will go towards uh, Caring Hearts for Horses, which is where all my money goes. I, I mean, i got to take care of my kids, too, and I've got my two rescues, and I feel kind of weird asking for money for them, but I got to do that too. So, anyway, long story short, Caring Hearts for Horses and AIM, light touch, equine body works, uh, transportation fee only, the services are donation, and that's it. Okay, lots of news going on. I've got another meeting tonight with our, um, oh Lord have mercy, with our grant writer. Yes, we have a grant writer now. She's awesome. Uh, she's out of California. She was with uh, Salton Sea. Salton Sea Action Committee, I believe. Uh, either way, I will talk to you later with another update. The boys are doing good. Have a wonderful day. Ciao for now. Don't forget, vendors, get hold of me. People, if you want a seminar, you want to do that, get together with me. Reach out, let me know. And uh, December 3rd tax sale. I need your donations of tax. 
to help out all these horses and these people. And those people will end up you one day. Very well could be. Okay, have a good one. It's been a pleasure. Again, as always, my family, my friends. Bye.